question is, I did a semen analysis and the result says 0% morphology. And that's a little bit confusing because we have a one and a half year old that we conceive naturally. Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Nayat. I'm a double board certified OBGYN and infertility specialist. One is that a single test and a single data point do not tell the whole story. The most important thing a clinician can do is put everything into clinical context. So if you and your partner have conceived twice spontaneously, by that we mean there was a pregnancy regardless of the outcome of the pregnancy. We know by definition that the sperm was able to get to the egg and the egg fertilized and made a blastocyst and that implanted. The second part is you really need to understand how we do these tests and it really depends on the lab and the type of test. Most commonly now we use what's called the strict criteria for morphology. Morphology means what does it look like? What does the sperm look like? Strict like the name means that we, you know, the head and the neck and the tail of that sperm have to look perfect for us to say normal. And we only expect about 4% of the sperm to look normal. So if you had 96% abnormal sperm, that's normal for us. But what does it mean if you have 0%? So it doesn't mean that none of your sperm are normal. If you can imagine, it would take us weeks and weeks to analyze millions and millions of sperm. We usually take a small sample size, whether it's 100 sperm or 200 sperm or 400 sperm, and we use that as our guess for morphology, but we did not analyze all the sperm. So it could be a sampling error, but also the way we uh, judge it is a bit subjective. And so if you have 0% morphology, but the other sperm parameters are normal, and you've had two spontaneous conceptions, it's hard for me to believe that none of the sperm are of normal morphology. What I'd recommend is maybe repeat that semen analysis. Two data points are better than one, and maybe even consider some advanced sperm diagnostics, like a DNA fragmentation, which will give you some more insights under the underlying sperm quality.